All right, today I'm going to be working um, with uh, some rational expressions. And in this first video here for part one, I'm only going to be simplifying the rational expressions. All right, a rational expression means that you're going to have um, a fraction, and then you will have an algebraic expression in the numerator and an algebraic expression in the denominator. All right, you're going to attempt to factor both the numerator and the denominator, and then see if anything crosses out. All right, so um, a good review of factoring um, is going to be necessary to be able to work these types of problems out. In this numerator right here, I've got a 3x minus 9. All right, two terms, so I'm going to automatically look for a greatest common factor. All right, I can take a 3 out of both of those, so if I factor out a 3, then in that first term it would leave me with an x and then a minus 3. All right, looking at this denominator, I have a trinomial. It's going to be an easier trinomial than normal because of my leading coefficient of 1 right here. I know that trinomials factor into two binomials. All right, since that is an x squared there in front, I know I'm just going to have as my first terms x and x. All right, then I need to go through, I need to look for two numbers that multiply together to equal positive 9, and then when I add them, they will be a negative 6. Okay, so the only way to get a negative 6 would be if I had two negatives over here. Two negatives do make a positive, so I could do a negative 3 and a negative 3. All right, now you do want to double check, go back and check. If I foiled this out, I should get this denominator. So multiplying first terms, x times x would give me that x squared. A negative 3 times a negative 3 would give me the positive 9 right there. And then inside and, and, and outside terms, so a negative 3x here and a negative 3x right here. If I add those two, negative 3x plus negative 3x gives me that negative 6x, so I did factor it correctly. All right, now what I'm going to look for is I'm going to look for um, something that's going to cross out, something in the numerator and in the denominator that I can cross out. I have a binomial in top, x minus 3. I have two binomials in the bottom, both of which are x minus 3. I may cross out one for one. So there is an x minus 3 in the top I can cross out, and x minus 3 in the bottom that I can cross out. Okay, and then that leaves my simplified rational expression as 3 over x minus 3. Okay, and then that, there's all that. That's all there is to that one. All right, now taking a look at this uh, second example. All right, same type of scenario. I've got a fraction with an algebraic expression in the numerator and an algebraic expression in the denominator. All right, when I go to factor, because there's two terms in that numerator, I'm going to try to take out the GCF, greatest common factor. Both terms have an x that I can take out. So I'm going to take out an x, and then that's going to leave me with an x plus 4. In the denominator, again, another trinomial, all right, leading coefficient of 1, so that means it's going to be an easier one to factor. I will have an x in both of my leading spots right there. I need two numbers that add, uh, multiply together to be a negative 12 and add to be a positive 1. All right, if I want a positive 1, I'm probably going to have to have opposite signs and my bigger number will need to be positive, so I'm going to try a plus 4 and a minus 3 in there. All right, now if I think that's going to work, I need to double check. x times x will give me the x squared. Positive 4 times negative 3 will give me that negative 12 right there. Now, to get this middle term, I have a 4x and a negative 3x. If I add 4x and negative 3x, I get a positive 1x. So then that means, yes, I have factored it correctly. All right, I'm going to look for something that I can cross out. I've got an x plus 4 in the top and an x plus 4 in the bottom. So both of those are going to cross out. And that will then leave me with a simplified rational expression of x over x minus 3. All right, so just two real quick examples on how to simplify a rational expression. If you like the video, go ahead and give me a like. And if you find this helpful, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and maybe you'll find some other videos that will help you. Thanks.